getting ready to initiate a traffic stop on a vehicle. It's uh, driving with no taillights on. Old 75 car traffic northbound, just south of Ball. Hello. What's up? Hey, man. DMC Muller with the Sheriff's Office. You know what I stopped you tonight? Not at all. All right, your headlights, you only have like your daytime running lights on. You don't, you're driving out the road with no taillights or anything. It's a new car, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all good, man. Have you had any alcohol tonight, man? Probably like a couple hours ago. Okay. Because I'm standing here talking to you, and I mean, I can smell the alcohol. So go ahead and shut your car off, and you're going to hop out with me. You don't have any weapons or anything on you, right? No, not on me. Okay. All right, hold up. You got a big old knife right here in your back pocket. Do I? I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, how can you forget that you have that? I don't know. It's a long story. I've had it for like years now. Gotten in trouble with it a couple times before. I didn't want it to get taken and- uh... so, you, so now we're getting somewhere. So you remember that you had it, but you didn't want it to get taken. You didn't want to get in trouble. So you decided just to lie to me about it instead? No, I, I literally did, like, uh, Well, no, dude, you just told I'm me sorry. that you remembered, dude. Just be honest with me, man. I didn't want to get a deadly weapon charge. Because, like, I got in trouble Have I with said it that you're going to get one right no, now? but I'm just... I'm okay. Sorry. Just be honest with me, okay? That's the easiest way to do this, okay? Is there anything else in your car? my bulk bag, I have two more knives. You're, you would, wouldn't care if I checked to make sure that's the only thing that's in here? Okay. So look, man, um, I really don't think you're impaired tonight. You do smell like it a little bit. And I apologize. Just hang out here and talk to DFC Bizel, okay? 175, cover consent search. Anytime you find these little alcohol preps, it kind of makes your blood pump a little bit, thinking that there might be a needle in here. And then we have a rag with some blood on it. That's from my head right here from earlier tonight, sir. Okay. Are there any needles in the car? No, sir. But I have alcohol preps. I have a spoon. Yes, sir. That's a special edition culinary spoon. It's for culinary purposes. Can you hook him up just for right now? Goodness. A big ass knife. Okay, that's a little strange. So I got two big knives, a, a ski mask, and gloves. What's this in here for? It's, it's my gloves are for the freezer, sir. I have to do inventory and stuff in the freezer. So it keeps you warm. Yes, sir. I got you. You see how it looks, though? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, we got something in here. Those are pellets, sir, for the pellet gun that's in the toolbox. <laughs> All right. Dude, this will get you shot, man. So this is one of the most realistic pellet rifles I've ever seen, or pellet pistols. I mean, this is not, this is not normal what somebody would have. In and of itself, the stuff that he has here is legal to possess. So we're, I'm going to document this stop. I'm going to uh, send out an email to our detectives and to the sheriff's office. This guy's matching the description of anybody. And then uh, he's going to be sent on his way tonight. Here's your driver's license and here's your registration. I just wrote you a warning for your taillights. I have my mask and my gloves in there that I use in the freezer, and I, I immediately then got worried because I was like, you were going to make that assumption. Oh, no, I made that assumption. No, no, no. Oh, no, no I did. No, I know. If we're looking for somebody and you have all that stuff in your car, do you know what I mean? It's... I do. Not even going to be a factor anymore. Sounds good. Have a safe night. Take care. That was just a really strange traffic stop. Hopefully it's just a bad series of items all together making a, you know, a picture that's not really true. And uh, hopefully nothing ever will come of this. Police are here to protect the service. Everyone should take accountability. We should all look to law and order. There should be justice. You should trust the police. There should be a lot more transparency. We come together as a we nation. Should fight. There should have been. We should.